Hey, what's up, beloved Hacksplain watches? Today I'm going to show you a really, really helpful Firefox extension which was not designed for hacking, but which you can absolutely use for hacking. All right. Let me show you what that magic extension is. And let's start with downloading it. So you go, if you're using Firefox, you go to the burger icon in the top right corner. You go to add-ons, which brings you to that page. And then you can search for extensions over here. And this one is called the Firefox multi account containers and this opens up a new tab which should have spring right over here it has 28 results the one I mean has well this little recommended logo right there and is provided by Firefox so make sure that you're using the right extension and not any fake one by another developer I already have installed this extension, which is why to me it says remove over here. In your case, click on install and have this amazing extension installed. All right, I will close this tab because we're not going to need that anymore. And we'll also close this one. And as soon as you have installed this extension, you will see it popping up right over here. And if I hover over it, it says multi account containers and I will show you right now what you can do with it. So you can click on this and you can say added containers and then you see your current containers popping up over here. And as you can see, I already have two containers in here which have interesting names which are called admin and low breath. And this is because I have well prepared them before recording this video. But what you can do is you just click on this little button over here, which says added admin container. You choose your color and you give it a name. For example, you say, this is my admin user. And then you can go back over here and you can say, well, my low pref user, I want to call this guy over here, low Priv user and I will give it the color pink. All right, so now we have set it up and we can exit the edit mode. And I can actually just close this over here because we do not need it anymore. Next up, what we do is we click on it one more time and click on admin user. And you do see a new tab popping up like you used to, but right now it has this little green bar down below over here. And you can also see over here that it says app and user and you see the green color and the icon that you gave it. And we're, to go, we're going to do the same thing one more time with the low pref user and you can spot the pink color over here and low pref user standing right over here. So what I want to show you is if we're using choose shop, we can, for example, go to the login and we'll copy that. I will copy that right in here and right in here. And we'll load both those login forms. And being in the admin user tab, we can say, okay, let's log in with the admin. I'm actually going to use the SQL injection vulnerability of ChooShop to log in with the admin user, which is the um, or one equals one or one equals one dash dash uh, payload right in here. I actually have to put down anything down below here to log in, and I'm logged in as the admin, as you can see over here. And for my low proof user tab, I'm going to register user quickly. I'll just say um, whatever test at hacksplain.com. The password does matter. Also, the security question doesn't matter right now. And then we'll register that user. 
All right, so now we are logged in. Actually, I still have to log in with my newly created user right now. Hacksplain.com, ASDF, ASDF is my super secret password. Don't tell it to anyone else. Uh, and you can see that I'm logged in as this user who is not an admin. Uh, what you can do right now is you can switch back and forth between the admin user and the non-admin user and you don't have to open up a new window and that to me is a huge advantage because if I have multiple windows open I usually get confused quite a lot and this gets even more confusing if you would not just test with two different users but with a couple more you could also say for example down below here that you have um, whatever a let's say a non-privileged user you would call this guy the non priv user with any random color it doesn't matter and you create another tab and we will see that having four tabs open within one browser is pretty neat but imagine having four different windows open down below here that would not be so great and what you have to realize why this is so great is that all those tabs have different cookie jars and I want to show you that by opening up the developer tools and if we go to storage right here and have a look at the cookie section we see that we're logged in as the admin right now and the admin has a session cookie over here it's the token and I do not want you to remember all the characters right now but if you look at it it starts with EYJHB and it ends with I Y and Q all right let's remember that for now and we'll open up the dev tools over here as well and just to give you proof I will uh, look at this this ends with X K L G the other one ended with I Y and Q so those are two different session tokens and you already see that there are gonna be some different cookie jar magic going on because otherwise I would not be able to be logged in as admin here and as uh, another user right over here and let's get back to hacking a little bit so usually you have different functionality for an admin and for a regular user and you want to quickly as an attacker find out what that is so you usually create yourself two users or more than that with multiple diff different permissions and then you just walk through the application do some sort of information gathering and see if there's any differences so for example I would go to orders and payment and check my six options over here and then quickly go over here to my non-admin user and see if there's anything different we do not really spot any difference right now going to privacy and security we see six different entries going back to my admin we also see that what we do know from another challenge however is for example that there is an administrator board if I go to slash administration and in here as you can see being logged in with the admin I do see all the users I do see customer feedback and so on and so you might be questioning yourself right now is that functionality also available to my non-admin user so we quickly hop over here delete that and say administration and we see that it's not really working I can try it a second time and see what's going on over here administration visit and I'm getting redirected to my search 
All right, folks, this was today's introduction into Firefox's multi-account containers. I hope this is going to help you in your hacking life and your hacking career. And if you do have any questions about this feature or about anything else, leave me a comment or reach out to me on Twitter, subscribe in the top right corner. And as always, have a great day. See you soon. Thank you.